Welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. What a beautiful sound. Do we really have to make it stop, Professor? Sound of nature's song. It's perfect. Humans hearing flowers sing, not so perfect. It is lovely, but shutting down magical outbreaks, no matter how delightful, is what we do. It's a level one threat. I can handle this easily. Not so fast, Imogen. We might try another method. Kyra. You want me to go? No. I thought you might try orb magic. From here? From here, if you don't mind. Okay, I'll give it a shot. We fixed an outbreak without even leaving here. It's actually pretty easy. Does this mean the DMI won't be needing us anymore? Under the sky so blue, yeah, my day is done. There's nothing here, my friend. To worry us till then. Hey, Kyra. Something smells fantastic. How did you get all this done and do your homework? You know me, Dad. I'm magic in the kitchen. Can this wait? I am rather busy. You want to hear this? It's about the orb. Lily! Oh, finally. I thought you were never going to wake up. How long have you been there? Quite a while, actually. I wanted to be the one to tell you. Tell me what? Last night, I came home from a tooth run. I heard Dad talking to Mum. And? The DMI has found a way to remove the all power from you. And they're going to do it. This process, is it unpleasant? There'll be some disorientation, but it won't hurt. Kyra will feel like she's woken from a good sleep. But even if we remove her orb magic, she'll still have her other magic. You can't take that away. We might not have a choice. She doesn't deserve this. What would you have me do? Call it off! I wish I could, but the decision isn't entirely mine. I know you're close to the girl, but... She's a visitor. She was never meant to be part of our world. How did you go with Sean? I tried my best, Kyra. I really did. But the decision is made. Okay, I get it. No more orb magic. Guess I can live with that. There's something else. Removing orb magic has never been done before. But the likelihood is it'll take your other magic as well. And quite possibly your memories of the magical world. No! So I'd be 
just human again? She's one of us now, Professor. You can't let them do this. I'm sorry, Dara. When will it happen? Tomorrow morning at 10 at the DMI. I'm sorry, Kyra. Hey, Peter, whatever it is, can we do it later? I can't blame you. I wouldn't be too happy about losing my magic either. Roxy told you. You're the most powerful being in the magical world. Tell them if they try anything, you'll destroy all their wands or turn them into toads. Can you really see me doing that? I guess not. Maxwell isn't certain it will take all my memories. But what if it does? And I'll be the one who became magical, and you'll be the one who remembers it. Funny, huh? Hilarious. So you have to remind me of all this. Tell you about elves and fairies. Get real, you'll laugh in my face. Guess it would be pretty hard for me to believe you. There is one person I believe. Kyra will forget me and she'll forget all of us. I understand how you feel, but the decision's been made. It's not Kyra's fault she got all power. It was an accident. The DMI know that. They just don't care. I know you think the DMI is perfect, but this time they're wrong. You shouldn't say that out loud. I don't care. It's not right. You're not delivering the message. I am. That's genius. Now I just have to figure out what to say that will convince me that all this actually happened. Just do it like you're telling yourself a story. Ready? Yes, Mr. Director. And action. Hello, me. How are you? I guess you're wondering why Peter is showing you this. You don't even remember making this video, do you? There's a very good reason for that, which I'll get to later, but the first thing you need to know is magic exists. And you're part human, part fairy, part elf. Excuse me, Ola. Dara would like a word. I'm in a hurry. Uh, he's been quite insistent. This better be important. What the DMI is doing to Kyra is wrong. You have to make sure and put it off until another solution can be found. It would help if I knew what you were talking about. You haven't heard. How did you find out about Kyra? Dara Blackwell. The boy has feelings for her. Mm, that's unfortunate. My job is to protect the magical world. Of course. And after the magic is removed? No, well, the orb will be destroyed. That was never discussed. Well, whether it was or not, that is what's going to happen. There are many who will disagree. It's my decision. It's not up for discussion. Now, if you'll excuse me. This isn't a trick, Kyra. It's real magic. And you could do it. And cut. You are amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Now, about tomorrow, Hold I... Up. We're not finished. What else is there to say? I don't mean to be critical, but speaking as your director, your narrative left me feeling unfulfilled. Meaning? The film's too short. It'll be so weird with Kyra gone. She's been such a good friend. We need to let her know how important she is to us. You know what we have to do. <laughs> Party! You organize the cake, I'll get Kyra here. Imogen, are you in? We gotta give Kyra a decent send-off. You don't think the DMI is right. Do I have to have an opinion? You do think they're right. I can't believe you. Let's go, Lily. No, Imogen, I know you're tough. 
But even for you, this is cold. Just because I don't wear my heart on my sleeve, don't presume to know what I'm feeling. Thank you, Frank. See you next week. Last minute birthday present. I want you to keep this here. Why? Well, let's just say it would make me feel better. Is there something you're not telling me? Just take it. Please. I'm also bringing the removal forward. Sunset today. Would you inform Kyra? You're making this very hard on the girl. Well, I'm actually trying to help her. As long as Kyra has the power, she remains a target. And once we draw it from her and return it to the orb, she's no longer at risk. And then? The orb will be destroyed. You'll get no argument from me. Been protecting the secret for centuries, Kyra. They may be fairies and elves, but they're wonderful people. They were your friends. Give them a chance to trust you. I know you can do it, because, hey, I know you. <laughs> Good luck. Peter, you can turn it off now. If that doesn't work, I don't know what will. Now what? They're taking my magic at 10 in the morning, so I want you here at 11. I got it. No matter what I say, make me watch the film. Come flood, earthquakes, meteor strikes, zombie attack, nothing will stop me. Zombie attack? Just covering the bases. That's such a good friend. See you tomorrow. Kyra, Professor Maxwell needs to see you. Has your dad changed his mind about me? Just come, okay? Why is it dark in here? Where's Maxwell? We couldn't let you leave without a proper goodbye. Beautiful. Thank you. We're going to miss you. I'll miss you too. All of you. Now blow the candles out. <laughs> really, Cairo? <laughs> Can't believe I'll see you at Harvey's tomorrow and you won't even know who I am. Maxwell said no one's ever done this before. Maybe it won't work like they think. Maybe I will remember. I wish I could believe that. I really think it's goodbye. I'm going to miss you, Kyra. Things will be so quiet with just me and these rogues. <laughs> Kyra, there is one thing I need to tell you. What? Do I get a... tend to do a frog or something? <sighs> Sean wants to remove your magic at sunset today. Um, I... guess I've got to go home and get changed then. What does one wear to have magic removed? That's 
that, I guess. Don't you care? I get that from the fairies, but you're my brother. You should know me better. They can't remove Kara's magic without the orb. If I knew where it was, I'd take it. to me too. I know this isn't your fault. <laughs> I wouldn't have survived here without you. <laughs> Thank you. It was a pleasure. And you're welcome to visit the bookshop anytime you like. Even though I won't remember you. I'll give you the VIP treatment to make up for it. Discounts on books? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Professor. Sean won't change his mind. Thanks for trying. I'm pleased that you came to me for help, Dad. Even if you had been able to do something, it's too late now anyways. How do you mean? If Sean brought the time forward, the magical removal is happening at sunset. In one hour, Kara will turn back to normal. Ladder. Remember what happened last time you tried to block me? Glad you see it my way. thinking about doing don't sorry professor i was just yes uh you were in here earlier weren't you i have a fairly good idea about what you're going to do and though your motives may be admirable it would be a big mistake a really big mistake do i make myself clear yes professor i know how much a dmi career means to you so i'll refrain from taking further action thank you professor now run along before I change my mind. I told you to go. Is your last chance. What are you doing? I appreciate you coming, Millie, but you didn't need to say goodbye again. No, it, it's Imogen. Are you certain? I can hardly believe it myself. Yes. Why would Imogen take it? Dara, where's your sister? I don't know. 
Last time I saw her was at Kara's farewell party. Did she say anything? Like what? Dara, I'm gonna steal the orb. Imogen's in serious trouble, Dara, being flippant won't help. I saw the alert. What's going on? Well, I hope you've come to your senses and brought back the orb. What? Are you denying that you took it? <laughs> yes, I'm denying it. What is going on? And you're not denying that you were here in a little while ago? No. And I told you to go? Yes. And you came back, and you knocked me down, and you took the aura. What? No! Sis, I get that you were just trying to help Kyra, but attacking Maxwell is going too far. Is it true, Imogen? Did you take the orb? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Imogen, come with me. I'll bring her back. What does this mean for me? Without the orb, we cannot remove your magic. She was too quick, I lost her. Put out an alert, we need it brought in. If Imogen contacts any of you, you report it immediately. Understand? I didn't take the orb. You can't be here. I have to report you. It wasn't me in the library. Then why did Maxwell say he saw you? I don't know. Are you saying he lied? No. I just know it wasn't me. Tell the DMI. They won't believe me. Even Dara doesn't believe me. So what do you want me to do? Help me find the real thief. The DMI was about to throw me out of your world. What can I do? I didn't do it, Kyra. I swear. Just help me, please.